Hey, what's up guys? Time is back with another Linson's video. Today I have a fragrance from the house of, honestly, I don't know where it's from. I think it's from the Tafel. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you guys. Again, it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices. Whether it is that brand new cell phone, maybe you're waiting out for that brand new Apple iPhone 14 eventually when it comes out. Maybe you're on that S22, S22 Ultra. Maybe you're on a uh, LG uh, Flex device or whatever it is. It is an honor to be playing on one of those. If you guys are new to this channel, you guys like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit those comments, hit the likes, and man, you guys never know. You guys might just be a lucky winner of something. Just check some of the recent winners, okay? So uh, again, it, it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices. Again, this was one of those fragrances that um, you kind of just toss in at the last minute. You, you ever been buying like a lot of fragrances and then you see this one that kind of just catches your eyes? You don't know why, but it's a decent price and you're like, hey, just throw it in the bag. You check out, you get it at home. Then you realize, dude, I can't find really nothing on this fragrance. Really nothing. I cannot find anything. Um, there might be one or two things on there, but who knows if those are the truth. But this says it's from La Tafa. This is called Chilo. Now, where it says Chilo anywhere on this box or on this bottle, we are yet to be seen. But there it is, Chilo. Okay. Now, from what I read on the so-called description, uh, it's kind of like got a lot of berries and stuff like that. And kind of like a... Uh, Someone actually said it smells almost like a vanilla ice cream, so the description. But, so, you know, when I read that up, it said La Tapa, but then I'm assuming, and then maybe one of you guys know this, but I uh, actually got this off of eBay out of uh, the guy from Florida, some guy out of Florida, so I'll leave his description down below. He actually has a lot of stuff, and he's actually a great seller, so uh, be on the lookout for that. So, Ozarige. Ozarige, hey, it is right there. Can't pick it up, my bad. But Ozarige, now is that Chilo in the uh, Arabic language? Um, is that a branch of Latafa? Who knows? Because then on the back, there is something on the back that is barely, uh, I mean, you can see it, but it, I'm not sure what the heck it says. But it almost says, uh, <sighs> Get those glasses out. Anan al Yusi. I don't know. This damn lettering is so small, so who knows? Let's just open it up and smell it because it might smell awesome. Here is the bottle, which actually looks kind of good. Actually, I kind of like the way this bottle looks nice and uh, squared off. Almost kind of reminds me, especially the color formation, kind of looks like the uh, DG the one EDP version, okay, kind of looks like that, that color variant, um, kind of got this like clearish, like brown and it gets darker down here, um, cap, actually a pretty decent heavy cap actually, so there you go, on the bottom there is nothing, there is no batch codes or anything like that, obviously they don't think anyone is going to copy this, so there is no need to put a clone or a batch code on here, so there again is that Ozarige, okay? Now again, I'm not sure if that is a branch of Latoff or anything like that. Um, from what I've seen on uh, Google, it is like a Latoff thing, so who knows? But overall, nice looking bottle, looks pretty good. Shine that up one more time, boom, okay? Let's see if it smells like those berries, like it says. Man, Cap actually has a really nice weight to it, so uh, here we go. Nothing going on over here, so I'm expecting to smell something super berryish, like really decent atomizer, actually. Nice wide distribution. Um, ooh. Definitely getting that like kind of fruity, fresh vibe up in the air, but let me get closer and inspect.
man, what this kind of actually smells like, it doesn't smell like your typical just fruity fragrance, okay? It's fruity, it's berry, but then it almost has like this, if you took a, like a, a bar of Dove soap, just the, the regular Dove white body bar soap, okay? You took the way that smells and then you just added some fruits to it. Now, the white, the just the soap part is what you're smelling a lot of, but then these fruits kind of just linger off of that smell. So just think of it like that, a fresh Dove Beauty Bar soap, okay? The bar, you just throw some fruits on there, some sweetness, some nice little freshness. And that's what you're kind of getting. You're kind of getting this fresh, fruity, Again, almost like a bar soap, and then you just threw some fruits all over it, okay? That's kind of what I'm getting with this one. There's like this kind of almost woody, maybe almost nuttiness in the background as well. Kind of lending this kind of like creamy smoothness. The berries are, that fruitiness is kind of kind of fading a little bit but you're still getting that fresh, woody, kind of smooth, nutty, kind of almost creaminess, if you will. You know, I don't know what that's cloning. It's not cloning Doja Gabbana, the one EDP. Sometimes with these Arabian fragrances, they will literally try to clone every single thing right down to the bottle and that is definitely not uh, doja gabbana edp maybe this is um uh some people might say this could be uh let's see dylan i think dylan uh versace dylan i think they got a oud uh variant which kind of probably looks like that bottle if you will With that freshness, I'm going to say this is more for, because it almost has that bar soap smell and it's kind of fresh, it may seem like it's going to be for warmer weather, but I'm actually going to say this is much better for anything fall, spring. Not too hot because of that kind of bar soapy smell. If you spray that too much, I think that can kind of choke some people out. Now, again, if you are outdoors, you got a big environment, then go on, spray it whenever you feel like it. But this thing kind of, to me, screams more of a cooler weather type fragrance, okay? Uh, with that fruitiness, that kind of uh, creaminess, that kind of woody nuttiness that I'm getting in the background. Definitely for fall, spring, um, winter. Again, if you're going to spray it outdoors, you're going to be walking around outdoors. Like if you spray this on, then you're going to go ice skating outdoors. Probably not the best thing for that. But if you're going to spray this on, you're going to be outdoors in the winter, then you're going to go into a bar. Why not rock it, okay? Ooh, that, that fruitiness is, it, it kind of goes away and then it kind of comes back. It's kind of coming, like making this comeback, like Jordan wearing number 45. It's kind of like that. Again, you got this bar soap quality with a fruitiness. Kind of got a little bit of this like creamy, kind of almost nuttiness, if you will, kind of earthy. You know? For less than $35, this actually is a pretty decent pickup. This is one that I would actually recommend if you like that fruity freshness kind of smell. Um, now, this is definitely unisex, especially with that fruitiness. But in all honesty, I think this leans a little bit more masculine, especially when I said there's kind of like this creamy nuttiness almost coming through. Um, a little bit of that freshness from that uh, bar soap kind of makes it smell a little bit more masculine, in my opinion. The fruitiness kind of gives it that feminine uh, vibe. But overall, this has kind of got that fresh, fruity, soapy almost, if you will, kind of nutty, woodiness. This is nice, you guys. Um, how long it lasts, it's yet to be seen. Now, again, some of these fragrances... You guys might just be going nose blind to them, okay? Because I hear a lot of people saying some of these, they're done with Arabian fragrances, uh, not putting anybody out there. 
But the thing is, you could possibly be going nose blind to these fragrances, okay? Again, I have a lot of people in my car, and there are times where I can't even smell it. In an enclosed environment, like a car, okay, and someone gets in my car, and they're like, oh, my God, you smell great. Something that I can't even smell. So you could just be very well going nose blind to that exact scent. Now, there are some fragrances that... I smell almost all day on me that no one even says anything about. So who knows how these fragrances work, man? It's just, honestly, it's all just dependent on your skin, depending on the people around you who's detecting it. That's all that really matters, okay? And again, with compliments, again, some people just don't have that type of courage to come up to you and say you smell good, okay? So some people do, some people don't. So just because a fragrance isn't getting you compliments, don't think that no one is not noticing, okay? People are probably noticing, again, just kind of afraid to come up to you and give you a compliment. So uh, with that being said, I would definitely recommend this, okay? Less than 35 bucks. Go check this one out. Again, Chilo Ozarige, okay? Latafa, I think. Who knows? But there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and I will uh, see you next time. Peace. Yeah.